the show. Super apologize for it taking so long. I'm just now getting my voice back from having COVID. Well, that was a horrible experience. That's not something I would recommend to anybody. So anyways, let's get started here. We're going to be tying an Isonychia mayfly nymph. It's that time of year when they're hatching here locally where I live. Um, it's a, a The Isonychia is a deep living swimming nymph. It's very strong swimming. So anyway, let's get started on this. And, and as normal, the, all of the materials I use will be in, the mater in a list on the description. Let's get started here with our thread. Oh, I'm using a size um, 8 um, Tenco 200R hook with a 3.5 millimeter fire hole stick or fire hole stone, excuse me, um, black bead. Let's get started here. trim off our excess here. Okay, we're going to be using some pheasant tail barbs for the tail. You don't want the tail real heavy. Probably about like that. And the tail will be short, not long. The tail will not be as long as the body like on most mayflies, it's got a rather, the Eshenicke's got a short tail. So let's tie this in. Make sure that it's sitting on top of the hook. About right there is to be a good length for the tail. Now let's, to keep the body built up, let's go ahead and wrap this material all the way forward to the bead. Take away the excess there. Now let's run the. I've got the tail in. We're going to take a piece of. Uh, now let's bring this back, keeping it right smack on top of the hook. All the way back to the tail. See, the Asinicchia has kind of a white line up the body. I don't use the white line. I like to put the, the opal tinsel on there to act kind of as, just to give a little bit of flash. It still has the effect of that white line, but it gives you just a little bit of um, differentiation. Okay, now we're going to put in a piece of brown brassy size ultra wire and I like to put that in on the bottom same thing right back to the tail perfect okay now for the secondary part of the of the um, shell back on this we're going to use more pheasant tail and that will go under the under the pheasant to, uh, it, over the top of the flash when you tie it all down the um, the flash will be on top of the pheasant tail okay now we're going to use some dubbing that's actually Isonychia color. So let's dub this on. We're going to go forward. Actually, let's, you know, I got a, I got a better idea all together. Let's run up here to where we want the thorax to start, which will be about right there. Okay. And we're going to run this back, the dubbing backwards and then forwards because we need to build it up.
okay. Now let's take the pheasant tail part of the shell back and pull it over. Now make sure that you're dead center on top of the hook to keep the effect the way you want it. Go ahead and wrap it forward to the bead. Same, th same reason, it'll help build up the body so you're not having to put so much dubbing on it. I'll get rid of the the excess and I broke a couple of barbs there. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. A little a little off center there now that that one side barb broke. Okay, easy twist into place. Now let's take the um, <laughs> the tinsel same thing, make sure you're keeping it centered. You want it, I think you can see it there in the middle. Keep it centered. Now trim away the excess. Okay, now we're going to put the wrap the, the wire forward. Okay. I like to wrap this the opposite direction of the way I started of the other material. Okay, now don't pull down when you go down. When you come up this side, then tighten it up, and that will help stop the materials. I'm sliding around the hook when you're putting the wire on. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to take another piece of the um, the same material, the ten, that ten, that tinsel. And we're going to tie it in here for the, because it's going to go over the top of the wing case. The same thing to make that that line that goes down the middle of the bottom, top of the body of the mayfly. Okay. Now we're going to take some black thin skin and make a little wing case. So something kind of like that. Perfect. Okay, now let's take more of the of the dubbing. I'm going to build up the abdomen here, or the thorax. Excuse me, I got that backwards. Okay, now before we tie the wing case on, we need to put the legs on it. And for that, we're going to use a, a kind of a mahogany brown um, partridge feather soft tackle. Okay, you want to come up with something about that size. Okay. Now you're going to take your scissors and going to cut the heart out of that so that you end up with with that. There, there I like that. Get those fibers to pull down. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, from this point, make sure that those legs are pulled down. And then we're going to pull the, the wing case over. 
same thing you make sure it stays on top of the hook a couple of the wraps on there then we're going to take the pull the tinsel over same thing make sure it stays center on the body perfect get rid of the excess there we'll fold this back over and kind of go in behind it a little okay now let's trim off the excess of this this is a little harder just kind of want to hold push down with your scissors just a little bit and then there perfect okay now take a little more dubbing and we're going to finish off the collar with it that will help also kind of help secure the bead so make your your dubbing noodle thin so it will finish pulling down in there with the bead I'm going to build that up just a little. Perfect. Now let's whip finish this. Do four. Tighten it up. Let's do four more. Okay, now let's remove the thread. Okay. Now we're going to take some UV resin. I'm using Solera's Bone Dry. Now we're going to go over the over just the wing case part, the wing pad. Okay, now one more step before we're done because the Isonychia nymph has gills on the on the body. Let's br brush out the dubbing just off the sides, not the bottom, just the sides up to the wing case. And if they're too long for your liking, you can trim them off. I like them to be a little long so that they actually will move, move in the water. And I get the extra long stuff there. So when you're done, It'll look like that. There we have it, the Isonychia Mayfly Nymph. Tie a few of them up and give them a try. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Until next time, have a good day.